Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go over activity 5.1, and in this case, we're using Jamovi to do this activity. Right. So our data file here is looking at whether or not students are sort of overly optimistic about how much time it takes to complete uh, a practice test. So everybody takes a practice test over some material, and they are asked to record how long they thought it was going to take that test before they take the practice test. And then we computed here the difference between how much time they thought it was going to take and then how much time it did actually take. So in this case, if they have a negative number, that means that they underestimated how much time it was going to take. And if they have a positive number, it means that they overestimated how much time it was going to take. A zero would mean that they were perfect. They perfectly estimated how much time it was going to take to do that practice test. Okay. So we're going to do a single sample T, and we want to know whether or not that number that they obtained, the average difference between those two values, is different from zero. So we're going to do a single sample T test by clicking on the T test menu and clicking on a one sample T test. Now we have their estimated for minus their actual time here, and we're going to compare that value to zero. So the program here sets up our hypothesis with a test value of zero, which in this case happens to be the test value we're using. That's not the case for all single sample t-tests, so you have to be careful of that, but it does work for this particular problem. Okay. Below this, it gives us a variety of different options for a two-tailed and one-tailed test. In this example, we're doing a two-tailed test. Okay, so we're testing to see if our test value is not equal to, or I'm sorry, our actual sample value is not equal to that zero value. Okay. In terms of statistics we need, we're going to need the difference between the means, confidence interval, effect size with a confidence interval, descriptive statistics, and descriptive plots as well. Okay. And that's all you need to actually um, interpret the data here. Okay. So I'm going to move this window over if I can. Uh, trying to, maybe I can't. All right, so in this output here, we have the one sample t-test data. The mean was negative 4.05825, right? And so that's showing us that people... Um, underestimated how much time it was going to take them to do that practice test by about four minutes. The standard deviation is 12.59 minutes, which is a pretty big standard deviation there in the context of this test that they took. Right. Now we compute a t-test to see if this mean is different than zero by more than what would be expected just based on sampling error. Right. Now, the difference we would expect just based on sampling error would be 1.24. So sampling error is a standard error of the mean. That's the typical distance we would expect for samples of this size between that um, test value of zero. Right? So a computed t statistic. Here it's not labeled t at the top, but off to the side. It tells 